Hi guys, Ryu here with Naravid for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to stamp your decals, your alpha decals, onto the mesh with brushes in Blender. So we're gonna be using for this Blender Bros decal pack, which is free. You can get it on our Gamroad. It's called Blender Bros Sci-Fi Button Decal Pack. The link in the description. You could also grab one of my decal packs, which is also free, called 23 Sci-Fi Decals. And decal machine ready that's on my gumroad link in the description as well both are free so you know go ahead and they're really cool packs so now what we need to do is we need to go to blender and we need to enable a few things okay so we're going to drop a sphere quad sphere which comes with uh, machine tools okay and i'm going to move to sculpting so i'm going to go there with machine tools as well and i'm going to expand this menu here and now we need to add a multi-res modifier to the sphere to um, add a bit more resolution. And I'm going to go quite high actually to drive the point home, but you don't have to really go that high. I'm going to go probably to like 6 or something. Now what we need to do is we need to set up a few things in Blender, okay? So first of all you need to be in a draw brush, and this will uh, probably be the best idea. We're going to go to stroke here and change it from space to drag and dot. And then we're going to go to texture and we're going to change from a tiled to view plane and click on new. Now click here on the texture and we're going to open a texture. But before we open texture, we need to make one. So now once you download the uh, the decal pack and you unpack it, you will see 20 folders. As I'm going to be using the one of the decals from the Blender Bros. Sci-Fi button pack. Go to the first one and grab it and move it to Photoshop. We're going to be using Photoshop for this. You can use any, any, you know, program really that produces PNGs. And by the way, Blender reads PSD files, which is actually quite a surprise for me, but you can use PSD files as well. Anyway, so now in Photoshop, what we're going to do um, is we're going to expand this, um, um, the frames a bit. So go here uh, under the crop tool and change the ratio to one by one, which is going to be a square. Hold Alt and expand this a bit and press Enter then control click on this square here in the bottom to add a layer on the bottom and uh, you need to sample the color now it's important to sample the color from the neutral plane uh, here which by the way should be um uh, should have these values okay so 128 128 and 255 so that's a neutral value for normal map which is basically flat and then press uh, alt delete to fill these areas with you know with the uh, with this color and i'm going to flatten this and we're going to save it as you can save it as PN, uh, png or you can save it as psd um like i said uh, blender is going to read both i'm going to it, save it as psd okay so we're going to save it as a normal and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to load it okay so i'm going to open here go to my desktop and find this uh, normal and open the image and boom now the level of subdivision depends on you know what you want to achieve i'm going to go with seven and then simply you click and boom you're done now if you want to achieve a different rotation because as you can see that you know the rotation is going to be the same for every single click you can go here to texture and click on random and then when you click and drag it's going to rotate basically so you can kind of have random rotation for every single click you make um you know you can just rotate it like this okay there you go guys that's how you can use your alpha decals in in sculpting so if you create something cool and then you need really quick you know amazing details there you go that's your way all right guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and links to all the add-ons and our products are in the video description thank you for watching see you soon